All right, let's get started on this Monday evening as we head to bed tonight. The skies in Fargo clearing out to the west, though. We're still seeing a few echoes on the radar from the uh, Hope and Finley area out towards Cooperstown. There may actually be some snowflakes in those clouds, and a few of them may be making their way down to the ground. The rest of us out in the valley and points east are a little quieter. We still have a fair amount of clouds out to the west where the best chance of some snow showers will be moving in from the northwest. But take a look at this. Rocky Mount High snowflakes are flying from Denver into the eastern plains, southern parts of Nebraska, all along I-80 I into the Omaha area. That's right. It's cold out there and in the spring. Here's a look at a clearing it in the late hours of our day here in Fargo. Some beautiful colors are captured by our tower cam time lapse, part of our Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network. 27 at Hector and in Moorhead, it is 30 degrees. Wind has really let up at six miles per hour. Humidity 56% a look elsewhere. We have temperatures generally in the uh, 20s, upper 20s here in the Red River Valley. 30 still for Halak Roso, one of the hot spots at 34 degrees and it's 27 for you in the Cheyenne River Valley of Valley City. And now as we look at our overnight forecast, wind dies down. We'll have passing clouds and again, our model shows the best chance of any flaky activity during the overnight hours and into your morning drive will be in our western counties. Western counties like uh, Benson, Ramsey, and Towner, all the way down into the Dickey and Lamore County areas of the James River Valley. That will not amount to much. Temperatures for most of us in the chilly 20s. Not as gusty will be the winds tomorrow from the north, 15 to 25 miles per hour. As we go through the midday hour, temperatures will slide into the 30s and really not slide much more as we'll have uh, 30s all day once again. So very similar temperatures for your Tuesday. And again, see this, the western counties here will have a chance at passing showers of snow. We could see some in northernmost Minnesota, mainly north of Highway 2. Temperatures for most will be in the 30s all day long. We may sneak a 40 degree reading or two down in the far south. And again, passing flurries, no accumulation. So again, a recap in Fargo. Woo chilly, low 20s out there to start the day. Passing clouds, north winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Heading through our afternoon and early evening, we stay in the 30s throughout tomorrow, 8:23, your time of sunset. Your hometown forecast shows 30s for most. A shot at some 40 degree readings in Richland County, maybe out towards Gwinter as well. Uh, Fergus Falls, 38 degrees, and we could see Wheaton topping off at 41.3 degrees. <laughs> All right, taking a look at some scenes from the Grand Forks area that looks a lot like spring, but our weather since Sunday's little snow shot here and there, anything but spring like. So when does it get fixed? Well, after a chilly one Tuesday, we're improving things Wednesday. The sun reappears Thursday, Hutch's pick day of the seven day forecast period, 60s, 60s return. And then as we close out the work week, we're changing things a bit. Most of Friday, pretty good the way it looks, but late Friday into early Saturday morning, a chance for some mixed precipitation through the area. Then the rest or the bulk of your Saturday in the afternoon and evening hours, delightful 50s return Sunday, delightful. So the weekend cool, but not as cold as we got this Sunday, a lot less wind and our flake chances come early on Saturday. Best chance of any significant moisture Monday night into Tuesday. We'll keep our eyes on that and we'll watch its track to see if it could help and impact that drought in the central Dakotas and here in the valley. All right. Thanks, Sachin.